Okay, in this section, what we're going to do is have a look at how we can use a camera and the, the various different elements within the camera. Now, we are using a Canon one here, but a lot of the principles will apply to all cameras that you have. So the first thing we're going to do is take a look at adding a battery to the camera. The battery normally goes to the back of the camera by lifting up the viewfinder, and the battery normally slides in and clicks on. There's normally a release button then just beside the viewfinder to take the battery off again. Turning your camera on and off. Okay, and the first option is you got camera and play VCR. Play VCR is down the bottom. If you move the uh, VCR switch or the switch here down to the VCR mode, this allows you to watch the camera back and watch all the footage that you've recorded. If I move it up to the, the middle again, I'm turning it off. And if I move it up to the top, it allows me to put it into camera mode, which allows me to record the footage that we're currently seeing in the location that we are in. On most video cameras, there are two kinds of viewfinder. One at the back, which is normally known as an eyepiece, and one at the side, which is normally like a little TV or a monitor, which would normally have an open switch, which you click on, and it allows the monitor to pop out, which then puts you in the position to pull the monitor out and swivel it into the best viewing position possible. The lens cap sits on the front of the camera to protect the lens, which is always made out of glass. As it's glass, it can often be scratched or damaged very easily, so the lens cap is there to design to protect it. If the lens cap does get dirty with fingerprints, you can use a cloth to clean it and making sure you do clean it in a clockwise motion. Otherwise, we just suggest the lens cap is always on the camera when not in use. Inserting your tape into the camera, or your DV tape, known as a digital video tape, often goes at the bottom of the camera, but can also go on the top. So in this case, in this camera, there is a switch at the bottom of the camera which says open. If we click on this open switch, the door will, you need to pull the door open and out, and then you'll notice that the compartment automatically pops out itself. You then can take the tape, making sure that's facing in towards the compartment, slot it in, push close the compartment door, the, this compartment will automatically go down on its, on its own, and then the outside casing then you need to push close yourself. This is the same if the camera ta tape compartment is on the top of the camera and not on the bottom. The record button is normally by your thumb or the back of the camera and is often red or silver. By pressing it once, it will start recording. And by pressing it a second time, it will stop recording. The zoom button allows you to move in and out closer or wider to an object. If we move it to the left, W stands for wide, so that's pulling the camera out to see more. And if you push it to the right, which is T, that's tight, it allows you to move in closer to an object and zoom in closer. The thing to notice about the zoom is it sometimes can be found in the rocker, like where it is here, or the back of the camera near its thumb. 